Welcome everyone to the channel. This is Solomon. I do want to take this time to create this video just acknowledging um, the fact that I do appreciate all of those who support. Um, when people leave their comments on the channel and they feel like I don't respond to them, it's usually because, literally, sincerely, because I don't like to, if I'm if there's a lot of comments on there and people are asking certain questions, it takes a lot of energy to respond to everybody. And if I feel like it's something that's significant or really specific um, that's going to help out a lot of people, I'll respond to that message, especially if I'm not dealing with personal readings. So I usually leave them there and some people feel some kind of way. Um, I did um, see a video of Tyler's Tarot, so I want to mention him here to give him my thanks and appreciation because some people did come to me from his mention as well and he actually said he was wondering what uh, zodiac sign I was and I let him know uh, my star sign is uh, my sun sign well this, the sun is a star um, Pisces and I do have some other energies of Scorpio um, my Mercury is in Aries as well my cusp is in Aries um, and I'm also a Pisces ascendant, so coming through, I should be able to come through as a Pisces for some of you. Not everyone will think that. A lot of people haven't. But what I'm doing here is trying to, I have a filter when it comes to who I let into my world. Because he mentioned this as well. He said, I'm kind of detached like other tarot readers, other psychics on the internet or YouTube. They may not really get into all of the... Um, maybe dimensions and doing a whole bunch of different things and responding to everyone and doing a lot of that I really give my props to Tyler because I know the many followers that he do have that he does have and if he's on there responding to a lot of negativity a lot of different things going on I guess it's controversial it can be very frustrating I don't like to expose myself to things like that so I am very in control of the energy that I expose myself to so um clearing that out I don't really respond to a lot of that negative stuff you know I, I find it funny the way that he actually handles it because he does have some people can handle it a bit better I don't like it it saps my energy and I just don't like that energy I don't want to come through like I'm smug or anything like that um, if you get to know me if you were to be around me you'll, you'll see a different picture a completely different picture um, but it's just like I like to kind of step back and pull away from things that are heavy toxic because it can bring you down that same path of what someone else may be going through emotionally so you have to try to keep that in perspective when it comes to how i respond on my channel um when you feel like i'm not answering certain questions don't feel that way um that's the reason but i really do appreciate tyler i just wanted to give him this mention on this video and uh send lots of love to him i really do think y'all should head over to the channel check him out to see his interpretations of what's going on because they are very close to mine if not almost mirroring one another um that's something that i have noticed so i do appreciate him and to anyone else that have uh, has mentioned the channel and all of those that that do show support and um lots of love to you lots of light i did just want to make this video as a intro so have a great week and remember to check out your monthly reading for december they are up and have a good one thanks Welcome Capricorn to your weekly love reading for December 11th to the 17th of 2017. So we're going to do your 10 card Celtic cross spread for the week. Alright. Let's see. 10 card Celtic cross spread for Capricorn. And love, what might you be experiencing? 10 card Celtic cross spread for Capricorn. Love, as usual. Resolutions. What are we doing? How does it be seen? Capricorn Department. And we are going to Capricorn for December. 11th to the 17th. Okay. So, you do have the Lovers. So, the Lovers is a card of um, joy. It's a card of a connection, maybe spiritually with someone, a deep, deep connection. And also a big choice that you could be having right now that could be on your mind for many of you. It could be with the Gemini. And... There could be issues with you and your partner where there are financial issues and concerns. Yes, you are in love with this person. Yes, you would like to make a connection. But is it good for you right now? You know, is the other person um, stable enough or able to take care of themselves? Are there going to be a financial or emotional drain on you? And that's something that could be on your mind. That's something that could be happening, but many of you are definitely focused on the home environment right now. You know, it could be a move, it could be anything redecorating the home. Um, it could be you are around another Pisces, Scorpio. Well, 
you have water sign energy but a capricorn or virgo a taurus that is there um and this could be like the wife or husband something that you know i can always see this person that's thinking about what they want right now and looking in deep thought about the financial uh, gain or stability there the king of wands is in the recent past so maybe some of you were dealing with in uh, aries leo or sagittarius maybe this person is kind of looking away from you every now and then i get a sense of and you kind of see where they're going to focus on you you know completely and maybe give you their all some of you may be thinking about that others of you were you know working you may have been um, out and about with your partner hanging out doing different things but taking care of business as well the head of everything you do have the three of cups in reverse so this is um, or maybe a situation where there's a broken home or maybe a broken relationship something is going on where there is uh, maybe communication with another person while you're still under the same roof with someone else you know could be partying drinking different things like that but we'll see what's going on there all right the near future is the nine of pentacles so in the meantime some of you if you're having some issues financially with your partner maybe they're doing their own thing you're doing your own thing focusing on yourself money does seem to be coming in so you put it in hard work and effort with that you have three financial cards that are showing up here so far so that's definitely on your mind and your element i feel for many of you now look at that more money cards so you're having some issues with money but you're able to kind of um get back what you may owe somebody or give back or they may be kind of thinking of ways to reimburse you i feel if they've been draining you financially in some ways so there are some issues maybe with a job um for some you're trying to get back on the ball now how others may be seeing you you're definitely frustrated about something um and a lot of times this is dealing with another fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, who is kind of, again, I was mentioning how they could have been turning away from you. That's how I kind of see that picture, two people doing different things. And it's causing you a lot of frustration because you may not be revealing it to everybody what's going on. So there are the impulses of maybe sexual frustration that may be there with you and the other person. The other person um, or you coming through as very aggressive by the things that you are saying, by the frustration that you have with them and, you know, expressing them like sometimes it's gossip coming through very conceited or blunt about certain things and harsh um, because someone is frustrating you, I feel, for some reason. Now, there are issues with it could be definitely someone else in the picture. The three of wands is in reverse of who you may be dealing with another person. Again, obstacles with moving forward because someone else is in the picture or that they're needing to focus more on goals right now and they're not really doing that maybe you've been in their air about certain things and they still have these bad habits you know um that's how i kind of see that then the outcome is the hangman in reverse and a lot of signs did have this this week so doing different things focusing on career maybe focusing on others as well but giving more energy to yourself and maybe hiding something from others hiding something from yourself where you don't want to face the reality of a certain situation so you kind of uh dance around it so let's clarify the three of cups reverse for uh capricorn clarify three of cups reverse for capricorn and then you do have the four of wands so there could be some like partying and things going on where you may be drinking um others of you are let's put this out there if you are around someone and again you're under the same roof there could be some issues with i don't want to put this out there so you worry and stress about it but you know issues where your your intuition is happening that someone is either texting talking to someone else you could be doing this with someone else if you are around that person and it could be an ex-partner it could be another love interest that you have you know that's what how i kind of see that let's clarify your cups reverse again for capricorn then you do have the page cup see this is i feel like um there is potentially another relationship that may be there with someone else and um you're either the third will or someone else is but also having a good time at um your home invitations coming through you going out and hanging out with someone else um party time um drinking heavily you know and but having a good time but also could be causing some uh money concerns as well because you could be spinning to entertain others and vice versa that kind of thing is going on with you and maybe your romantic partner for some and let's clarify the um let's see do I need to clarify anything else uh, let's clarify the hangman for capricorn 
Okay, but I hit me for that one. And we do have these six of cups. So there is like you're you're thinking about someone from the past or you're dealing with someone who's dealing with their past as well. And it's on your mind, but you're trying to shake it. That's how I, I see this energy right here, trying to stay away from that person. Uh, temptation is coming to me. That's what I'll get a sense of for some. All right. So let's see from the Romance Angels for Capricorn for December 11th to the 17th for 2017. We have new love. See, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and either this is literally a new person where you're moving into it. You have this feelings for that person, but you're not acting on it. And this is someone that you're already with, but that love is growing on um, something that's uh, becoming much bigger and deeper. Maybe and you're just going through the ups and downs with that person. Messages for Capricorn for December 11th to the 17th, 2017. Worth waiting for it and says divine timing is at work in your love life for those of you who cannot really act on your romantic partner, the connection just yet. You're potentially like wanting to propose to that person or you have been um, and they are not really, uh, they're rejecting it or you're rejecting someone else because you're not ready. Um, that energy is there. So for many of you, if you are single, you're focusing on money for sure, doing different things to stay busy, and you're waiting for the right time for the right person to come into your life. That's what I see for this week, okay? So I hope that the messages did help you out. Uh, lots of love to you. Lots of light. And remember, if you would like to remember, if you would like a private reading, you can go to the website, psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for your energy. So have a good one. <laughs>